faith is now. Let's understand this. It says, who, when you pray, whatever things you ask, in Mark 11, 23, it said, whosoever, Mark 11, 24 said, whatsoever, whosoever, young or old, whosoever, whatever is your background, culture, religion, whosoever you ask in the name of Jesus, whatsoever you ask, whatsoever, as big as a mountain, he said, if there is a mountain, why do you think Jesus said, command the mountain? What is he trying to talk to you and tell you? He said, if there is some big hurdle as big as a mountain, he just wants to blow your mind. He's saying, dare to believe, dare to ask, dare to command, dare to take up authority, dare to say, whosoever, whatsoever, when you believe, you shall receive. Amen. Now, what is the meaning of the word receive? Receive is in your English Bible. You must understand this in Greek. In Greek, the meaning of that word receive is lambano. Lambano means to take, to take, to lay hold of. Show them in Greek. To take for yourself, to take. When you pray, believe and take. Receive in Greek is lambano. What is the meaning? To take. To take with the hand. Lay hold of. Amen. To take up a thing. To be carried. Take upon oneself. Amen. I want to give you the simple illustration so that you completely understand what this scripture means. Can you see all the beautiful presents here? <laughs> all the beautiful presents. All the beautiful presents here. The Bible says, when you pray, believe that you receive. On the cross of Calvary, Everything pertaining to life and godliness has been given to you. Your divine healing, your prosperity, your marriage, your long life, your children, all your blessings are on display on the cross of the Calvary. When you come to the cross of the Calvary in your prayer and when you keep looking at things, you keep talking about things and say how beautiful that looks, how wonderful that long life is, how great that strong health is, how beautiful their marriage is, how I wish I have that money, how I wish I have that car, how I wish I have that house, how I wish I have that spouse. <laughs> we keep looking at all the things that are on the cross of Calvary. Now tell me, when will you take? When will you take that is on the cross of Calvary for you? When you know it is yours. When you know it is yours, instead of talking about it, you will start taking. Amen. You will say, it is mine. I take it. God has given it to me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, when you pray for your healing, you're not wishing, you're not hoping, you're not dreaming, you're not desiring. You come to God and say, God, I take my long life. God, I take my strong life. God, I take my healing. God, I take my prosperity. God, I take my increase. God, I take my restoration. God, I take everything pertaining to life and godliness that you have provided for me. Thank you, Jesus. This is the finished work of cross of Calvary. When you pray, believe and take. When you pray, believe and take. So if you have not yet received, whose problem it is? God has given you all these things. You have not taken it. God has given you everything that you need. 
Whatever you need, God has given you. I told it's impossible for God to lie. He said he has given everything pertaining to life and godliness on the cross of Calvary. So now you have to take it. And how do you take it? The next question. <laughs> when will you take it? Number one answer, when you know it is yours. Now, let's go deeper. How do you know it is yours? How do you know it is yours? Good answer when you believe. When do you believe? When do you believe? When do you believe? <laughs> now, now, how you started to believe? Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. The moment you heard it is yours, you take it. You say, it's mine. Thank you so much. The moment you heard God loves you, the moment you heard God has already given you, the moment you heard whatsoever, whosoever, in Jesus' name, take it. You got your faith. You believe it. That's why it's so important you go to church and keep listening and listening and listening. You cannot live in yesterday's manna. You cannot live in yesterday's hearing. You have to listen continuously. It is continuous hearing. It is continuous hearing. So you keep hearing and hearing and hearing that from head knowledge, it becomes heart knowledge. From your head understanding that it is mine, a mental ascent in your heart deep down. You say, I know it and I know it and I know it like I know it. It is mine and I take it. No power of the enemy can stop from receiving what is rightfully yours. Amen. This is how you pray. Yes, give glory to God. This is how you pray. You receive your answers. You receive your answers when you believe and take, how beautifully it says, right, in the Greek, take it with your hand. <laughs> take it. That means you have to take it. Take your healing. Take your long life. Take your marriage. Take your children. Take your restoration. God is longing to take. There is so much to take. I think one day we'll go to heaven and we'll be wondering, oh my God, all this I didn't take from earth. Oh God, I'm feeling bad. I didn't take. All this was already there for me. I didn't take. We should not be in that position. Let's take everything. Let's take everything. When we go and see our mansion in heaven and we say, it's empty. Good. I took everything on earth. <laughs> Amen. Let's take everything. This excerpt is brought to you by PriyaAbraham.org. To get the full message, visit PriyaAbraham.org.